Gotta move that. That thing's rattling like a whole lot. <sighs> My little alien guy has to go. Hi class, Mr. G here, just going over our next thing in elements of art. So the next element of art that I'm going over with you guys today is shape. What is shape? Shape is a closed line. Really? That's it? No, there's more to it than that. Uh, shapes are geometric like square circles or organic like tree forms or shape, natural or organic shapes or natural shapes or freeform shapes. Shapes are flat and can express length and width. Now in the essence of what a shape is, a shape is basically anything that we see. However, uh, shapes really deal with the two-dimensional plane, so anything that's flat, like a piece of paper. However, uh, shapes can also be objects. Um, the only difference is, is that sometimes those are considered forms, because you're, uh, all three-dimensional shapes are forms, which I'll get into in another video. So, looking at these shapes, trying to build and, and design what you're trying to create off of the three, off of those flat two-dimensional shapes and how you transition them on your artwork, either in a drawing, painting, or sculpture. Don't think of a large, gigantic sculpture and all of the different elements of it and get overwhelmed. That's the number one thing that I, want, that I always stress to all my students is don't look at a piece of artwork and become overwhelmed because there's so much there, there's so much detail. A lot of people get, uh, get stressed out and that's where they dive off of the whole making artwork path. That, that hurts. That, something that you can easily do and overcome. All you have to know, all you have to do is know that you can break things down to a simplistic form. That's my thing about teaching. When I teach students how to draw, how to paint, how to sculpt, anything at all, I break it down to the smallest element that they're trying to do at a time. That way that they can build these things like little Lego bricks and they can make little pieces together, add them together, and make a giant beautiful sculpture painting or drawing anything in the art world. As always, guys, if you have a question, raise your hand down in the comments below. I will see you guys, as always, next class. Until then, later, guys.